some, but fighting out of Brasilia, Brazil. Here is the perennial welterweight contender, Vicente Luque. Some might call his style meat and potatoes, but it's filet mignon and the best potatoes you've ever had, because this guy can strike, he can grapple. Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt hasn't always leaned on that in the octagon, has been a knockout artist at times. But you know, when the welterweight contender, Vicente Luque, shows up in your bracket, you are in for a fight and potentially a brutal night, and that is a fact of which his opposition tonight is acutely aware. for this mixed martial artist leading into the fight this week. He is as well-rounded a fighter as we have in this division and kind of a case of pick your poison. He can do it all. He can do it all in one package. I mean, I think of the greats, the George St. Pierre's of, uh, of the, the John Joneses and the best fighters in the world, the guys that just seem to possess every skill that allows for them to be great. This man has that. He has that ability. How does he implement that? How does he use all those skills in order to get his hand raised. He's done it time and time again. Big task tonight. But I would imagine that that skill set, he can get it done. Yeah, he said confidently, I've got to be ready for everything. Perhaps more of a specialist on the other side. But this man has accomplished a great deal thus far. He is showing no signs of slowing down. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, Vicente, the silent assassin, Luke And now we his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Diego Lopez. Herb Dean, our Ready. referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, the not-so-silent assassin, Vicente Luque, back under the lights as this round gets underway. He has been on the cusp of contention before, nearly secured a title fight, but ran into Bilal Muhammad back in 2022. And now the focus on the Luque side for Daniel Evangelista and everybody else. Get back on the horse. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, good block there. Pretty strong jab there by Luke. Oh, and now a left hand. Oh, nice kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Luke's looking for a Darce choke here. That Darce choke is tight. guys are back and forth in submission defense wins this transition. Yep, got to be very careful there. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. 
beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly, because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent, and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. Nice transition. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be jumped, but they're absolutely right. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Oh, nice. Nice. Targeting the body with the kick now. Reversal on the ground. Great job. Now drops inside that closed guard. Oh, attempted to go for the leg now. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. He's going hard to try to get the heel hook. He cannot allow for him to beat his hips with his knee if he wants to finish this fight. Working again for that submission. It's always going to be a struggle, but this guy's intent on finishing the fight. Inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Changing the position. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. And you gotta find it's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Under a minute now to go. Now he's going full mount. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Luke's in half goal. Making all these shots count. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Great job landing from the top position. Oh, Round two is next. Hey, stop. All right, senta aí, relaxa, respira. Muito bom esse round, tá? But you gotta be careful. You gotta watch out because he's trying to give you some submissions, okay? Yeah. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean. You would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, here we go. This next round is underway. He got worked in that previous frame. We'll see if he has recovered here as he enters this next round. You don't recover in a minute, so he needs to extend the recovery time. Fight at a slower pace. You cannot go in there slinging leather again, or he'll find the light shut out this time. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He has guilty jump.
side. He remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place to you be. You have got to free one arm. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free, and then start building towards like doing that. something else. But like the that. first step is to get an arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, right into Mount. Nice positional control here. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent, really, with most of what he's throwing. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of a barn. He, everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, and he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. In the half guard. There it is, now he's going to mount. Setting up a sub here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, he just continues to attack that cut around the eye. Gotta think his vision's compromised now. As he should. Right, he sees the blood poured into his opponent's eyes. His opponent now is squinting, trying to maintain his line of sight. Oh, great submission defense. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Luca. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up around the shoulders and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position to really just slow everything. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. That was nice. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He's now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Aye, muito bom. Senta aí, respira. Okay? Very good, man. You almost have all those submissions. You're doing really good, okay? But you got to be a little bit more patient. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. 
Balls defense into offense there as he blocks the strike and counters with a perfect jab. Nice leg kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Another big shot to the head. Shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on... Oh, stuck in the guillotine. Ooh, it is tight now. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you gotta either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Oh, hook looks tight. Ooh, he escapes! There goes another one, and once again, he just bats it away. Great submission defense. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or his fight's going to happen. He's got to move his hands out. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Now he's going full mount. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, working inside the closed guard now. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Luke. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Boxers up now and lands a vicious head strike. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. About two minutes here to go in round three. Well, he's got his back now. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just rip. Oh, submission attempt here. He's fighting, he wants his badly. Oh, I don't know, that heel hook looks tight. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Short time now in the round. Submission. He's going to start to chase the arm triangle. Oh, looks like he's got that arm put in the triangle now. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Well, he's not leaking information. He is leaking blood and a lot of it as his opponent continues to realize success. I mean, he's finding so much success striking in that area of the face. His eye is so damaged. The blood is pouring everywhere. This has become very, very dangerous for him. Hit hard. Final seconds of round three. Print the shirts, ground and pound. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. There's a lot of blood. You can't go much longer with a cut like this. We need a finish. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. really has put his opponent on skates. Very fast that kick lands for him. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where the... Oh, will do it! Oh, my goodness! With a huge knockout tonight. Oh, my goodness. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. I mean, just landed that beautiful kick right under the ribs. You could see immediately the effect that it took on his opponent as his opponent went back to the edge of the octagon, fell down to the ground, and he finished the fight. Hey, all right, we go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 29 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Diego Lopez! Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.